Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are continuing our coop build series. This is the beginning of part three and I'm hoping this will be the last one. I'm a little bit over it. We are again under excessive heat warning. Today, yesterday, which we didn't do anything out here yesterday, we had church all day. So I wasn't out here, but it was yesterday, today, and tomorrow, excessive heat warning of heat indexes of like 106 degrees. And it's like 60% humidity. So it's incredibly hot and humid, not just hot. So multiple breaks. Today though, our goal is to um, get another coat of paint on the coupe. And then I am going to stain all the trim work that I can stain. I went and bought yesterday after church. I bought the stain. I'll show you what I got. I also got some one by threes to do all the trim work. I don't think I got enough to get some more. Jason is gonna stop on his way home from work today at Lowe's and grab one roofing panel, just one, so we can come up, like lay it on top and see, is it gonna work, is it not? We need to figure out something else before we buy all of them. And if it works, great, then we can know we just go, we can figure out how many we need and go get that many more. So that's today's plan. So it's gonna be, I'm going to stain, Bailey's on paint, and we'll just have to like paint for it as long as we can and then go inside and take a break and cool off and come back out. It's just gonna, hopefully it won't take that long. I mean, it won't take her long. It'll take her maybe 10 minutes to roll this coop with the paint. And then um, the stain shouldn't be super labor intensive. It's just sitting in the heat. So let me show you the paint and the stain that we're using. And then um, I'll come back in just a little bit and show you our progress. I forgot to show you when we painted this, this, this exterior of the coop. The white is this. This is what we bought. It is Valspar. Um, I use a satin exterior and it's called Stormcoat exterior paint. Um, oh, it says good hide coverage. Um, easy to apply. It totally was. And I just went with the high hide white and I did not have it tinted. I'm just doing straight out of the can because I wanted a white farmhousey um, look. And you can tell this is one coat. And you have small, you know, just a few, this was like super, super dark, like a dark spot. If you go back to the other videos, you can see. Um, but one coat has pretty much covered, remember this had a whole bunch of like big black grid lines on it. It covered pretty well on the one coat, but we're just going to go ahead and put a second coat on, possibly a third, but like you can see like right here is like a dark spot it covered really really well so another coat should probably be fine but um we just want to make sure it's good and sealed for weather basically so that's the paint that i got the stain is also from valspar this is not sponsored by valspar but hey valspar if you want to sponsor a video holler at me um i got an all-in-one it's a stain and sealer that way i didn't have to buy stain and buy like like a Thompson's water seal or something and have to do two steps. It's just an all-in-one. It's ready for rain in four hours, but I'm going to do this today so that, um, I don't think we get rain for two more days and as hot as it is, it ought to be more than fine to get rained on. Um, it says it's a four year guarantee on decks and six years on fences and siding, which I would imagine would be this because we're not walking on it like you would a deck. So that'll be fine. So let's get busy. Quick update. I decided I would test it on a scrap piece of wood. Glad I did. I cannot stand this stain. I hate it with a passion. It looks like mustard. It looks like I spray, put French's, yellow French's mustard on it. Look, and they're like, I can't. I don't think I could even learn to love it. It's, I don't, that's not what I want. What I want is like, a pretty pine or a pretty uh, pecan color. I don't necessarily want cedar, but that was my only other. It was this honey, whatever color, or a uh, cedar or a redwood. Those were my three color options. So I thought this would look more like the picture on the can and it looks like mustard. So this is gonna go back to Lowe's and I guess I'm gonna have to do some more research. Maybe I do have to actually stain it and then do a Thompson's water seal. I don't know, learning as I go. But this is a major disappointment and this is gonna be a setback because 
Lowe's is 30 minutes from my house and I really don't want to drive in 30 minutes to return this and try to find something else and bring it back. And what if it doesn't work? And I've wasted a whole day when I could have gotten this stain done. So I guess I'm going to Lowe's. Back from Lowe's, I decided to try this that says it's transparent, barely tinted, waterproofing protection in a chestnut brown. So I pour it out and it's like a purple color. Tested it on this and it's drying pretty quickly and it's actually a brown color. At first I was scared, but I think that's gonna be fine. So Bailey's getting ready to paint another coat and then I am going to start staining and I'll let you know how it's coming. Okay, I really like this stain. I'm definitely gonna say, if you're gonna do something like this, go for that Thompson's water seal. I'll show you again what I'm using, but you can see the difference between what I haven't done and what I have done. So, I think it looks pretty against the white. And I'm, I still gotta crawl under there and do the inside of the four by fours but you can see the difference. Not much left to do here. Gotta sing the door, but I really like this. It goes on easy. It's not difficult to do. And I like the color. So there's that. Okay, so the next day, I don't know what I stopped with yesterday, but we got the door on. It took some finagling, but we got it on. It looks good. And we didn't get any roof on today. Shocker. I did do some trim pieces today um, on the corners. You can see through this plastic and the trim piece across the top, this corner. And did not do the bottom trim piece here. And the same on the other two corners as well. I got the trim pieces put on here here and the other corner down there and I started working on the door but that's going to take some more finagling and it's supposed to start raining tomorrow morning at like 6 a.m. So while all of this is treated with Thompson's water seal and it is fine to be rained on right now there is no door here. There is still no chicken door over there. And there's no roof. So we gotta protect from rain again tonight. So this is the best we knew how to do. Jason grabbed a tarp on his way home. And I still have my plastic sheeting from before. So we've got the top covered and the venting covered the big door covered, the chicken door covered, trying to keep it dry. I don't know how this is gonna work. I probably should tape this like this to kind of hold it. I probably will go grab some tape and just kind of tuck it around like a bed sheet to try to hold it on. This tarp it should stay in place because we've put it over the wall down pretty far. Um, so if I tape this around it, like a present it should hold it and then I'm gonna go take a shower and call it and it's supposed to rain tomorrow and the next day and probably the day after that so I guess I'm done for a few days on this and then when it stops raining we'll come back with part four this is taking forever and we have left to install all the rest of the hardware cloth which all we have so far is this door and that panel this door, this panel, and then I did the vent on top of the coop right there on this side and the other side, but the end is not done. So I still have this to do, all of that to do, all underneath the coop to do, and those two panel, this panel and this panel to do, and then that front vent on the coop itself right here to do and then we have a roof and then the girls can move in
Oh, and the apron. I still have to do the apron, which means I have to go buy the little staple spike thingies to stick it into the ground with. But we better hurry up. So I guess while it's raining, I'm gonna go get the rest of the supplies I need and come back. So stay tuned.